saya Bajira. Hai, saya Shaza. So kami adalah host satu di show anda. Topik yang akan kami bincangkan pada hari ini ialah course tak minat. To stay or, or not, not to stay. stay. Sekarang 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 Sebab apa? Obviously because it's something that I'm interested in Something yang I minat Apa pendapatan kalau I ambil kos yang tak minat? Kalau I ambil kos yang I tak minat Obviously kenalah keluar terus kot Like okay, maybe tak keluar terus lah Tapi I akan cuba untuk keluar daripada kos tu Siapa? Siapa? Kenapa? Hmm. Sebab Bagi I Bila you dah, okay, bila you dah tak minat skor yang you nak ambil tu You takkan bagi 100% Okay, you are here as a student kan You are supposed to give your best to you study So, bila you bagi um, tak 100%, tak sepenuhnya Usaha you bila you study, buat assignment, belajar and what not tu You takkan dapat 100% juga balik You takkan dapat pulangan 100% juga So, you nak apa study, you dah stress you nak buat assignment, you half ass je assignment tu So, tak ada kualiti lah dalam pembelajaran tu Personally lah, last thing last is um, You kena prioritize yourself As in Okay, let's say you rasa you dah find you Sikit ke nak beli kan? Tak minat sangat-sangat dah tak boleh dah Tak boleh dah Tak boleh Kalau you nak drop off, ni bila orang akan cakap Bro, you have like only one more year lah go to it. Tapi kalau you tak boleh, tolong jangan paksa. You kena ingat, the one that's living your life is you. Bukan orang lain. Okay? So you have to prioritize yourself and your happiness. Your happiness has to be number one. Yourself has to be number one. Bukan apa yang orang cakap, bukan apa yang orang fikir. Okay? So please, please prioritize yourself. That's why bagi I, kalau you tak minat course tu, stop. Get out je. Kau oh, suka dapat course yang ambil sekarang? Hmm, to be honest, uh, this is not something I wanted to do in life. I've never imagined myself that I would choose this path, but here I am, pursuing and doing what I don't expect me buat lah. Tapi kau siapa ambil juga course yang ambil sekarang? Sebab macam aku cakap tadi, I don't have choice. Aku dah aku dah terima masuk dalam kursus ni. But I still um, accept je and then I'll just work with the system and here I am right now. Yeah. So, apa yang untuk stay dengan course yang hantar minat ni kan? Hmm. Kau siapa hantar stay? Dan macam mana hantar sebab dengan course yang hantar minat? One of the reason why I choose to stay kalau apa aku nak minat course tu is because first aku rasa masa. Masa ni plays a very big important role in your life especially in my life because say lah, kalau aku study for 2 years and then study that I found myself, saya pun tak minat sebab susah ke, sebab tak minat everything for me, aku rasa aku akan still teruskan sebab aku tak nak waste my masa dekat situ you know and then logically, aku pendapat aku, aku rasa tak semua orang ada rezeki nak sambung benda yang mereka minat you know and then tak semua orang juga walaupun mereka sambung benda yang mereka minat and then later on in the future in their career prospect mereka dapat buat benda yang orang suka with that degree yang mereka minat actually itu aku punya logik lah and then second is um, financial lah you know financial ni plays a big role juga especially in our life as a student because studying especially in university it's, it's a form of investment it's already an investment and then of course um, kalau aku quit halfway macam tu je Aku kena take up another degree Untuk pursue benda aku minat So benda tu sendiri pun dah ada kerugian kat situ So aku punya logic is Teruskan je lah Aku minat ke tak minat So how I survive My take on this is Aku rasa dulu Or khusus tu Sometimes ada Ada yang bila dia pursue Dia rasa macam This is not the cause yang mereka minat So mereka tak nak Mereka rasa mereka tak akan bersebar Tapi ten- turns out after one or two years studying They found themselves really can do this 
But for me, kalau say your degree, walaupun you tak minat, tapi sama your, your degree tu bagi a good career prospect in the future, it will profit you and then it, it makes a good investment for you which profit you lah financially and with knowledge then pursue je lah degree tu janganlah nak ikut sangat sama ada minat ke tak minat ke you know yeah. so bottom line is um, be realistic fikir have a backup plan fikir just because you tak minat uh, khusus yang you buat tu doesn't mean you cannot do anything macam saya cakap, think of a way, work with the system, cari apa yang you boleh assimilate dalam kursus yang you buat tu so that it will benefit you in the future and as well, dia boleh buat you happy doing it yeah. That's it Okay guys, so jangan lupa untuk like Comment dan share video kami. Yeah, and then uh, give your thoughts on the matter that we discuss about. We will be, we will appreciate it if you guys boleh bagi pandangan korang. And then, paling penting sekali, jangan lupa subscribe Simple, Simple Production. Production.